All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do this real quick because this is the last shot that you're going to see of this yard this year. This is it. Done. This here, closer to the door, is my peach trees. I got them up. I got them going good. This one here, you're looking at this far, this is the way. That one is one year old. Wait a minute. Two years old. Yeah. And that one there has been cut and everything because I want to bush it out so I tipped it and everything. This is the one I put in this year. Look how big this one got. So trees make up their own mind sometimes for different reasons. I gave them all this green you see at the bottom. That's from the compost I gave them. That's lots of compost. That's what that is. Now we're going to go over here and look at this one. Sorry about all that noise. I got cars with the Radio's loud. Now look at this one here. The big one behind the little one. That's the one that really took off and beat all of them growing. But at first, it did not have much growth on it. It was the smallest one in the yard at one time. Now, up in here, look at the thickness of the, I guess you call it the trunk down there. I gave it lots of compost. Look at all this compost right here. Look at that, big pile of compost. Look at that. And these trees are doing good behind this. I made this compost. I made it. Leaves and leaves and grass. Over here, I'm going to call these my pathetic ones. These are, you know, all this grass here, i got to cut that today. All this we got to cut. You can't even really see the trees, but the tree is actually right here. This is a um, pear, and this is another pear. They're different kinds. I don't know what they are right now, but these two dark skin ones, even these are brothers. I call them the brothers. These are um, plum. This is a plum too. That's a plum. Look at it. They didn't do well this year. They're not growing fast. Fast as I would like. I'll put it that way. This is a weed right here. Actually it's a type of tree but I'm going to get rid of that before it gets too strong and big. Alright. Let's go up here and look at these. This center bush here might be taken out. It's not producing any food but wait a minute. It's got a job. I ain't going to mess with it. See that pollinator up there? That's a pollinator. So that tree is going to stay. This bush is going to stay. It's got a job. It's going to attract bees in for my um, my fruit production this year. Alright, up here, apple trees. I'm getting all these shots on these real quick. I'm not going to stay out here all night shooting these trees. Let me draw this back here. Mosquitoes are getting wild. Okay, see that right there? That is an apple tree, very young one, about two years old. Four to nine bucks. This one here is another apple tree. That's that big spider. I will show Trevor. Look at that. He's on my clothesline. I'll leave him alone because he's doing a good. Now these are the little tiny apple trees. See this one right here is tiny. First year I put it in, it's smaller than that actually. Got a couple of leaves on this, about it. That one there. This one here. Small, small, tiny. This right here is the raspberry bush. Did excellent this year. It's growing out all over everywhere. Look at that. It's growing everywhere. A lot of berries came off of that this year. This one here is a blackberry. I don't know what variety I forgot. Uh, but. Didn't produce any birds this year, but it's going okay. The pumpkin, one bag of 40 pound manure. That's what just grew out of. All that plant, all that plant, that big plant you see before you. I didn't see any pumpkins on it as of yet. It's been here for about, about three months. Now this is the peach, excuse me, the pear tree that I thought wasn't gonna make it and it's doing good. There it is. I'm letting you get a good look at it because I almost pulled this out of the ground because it was so sick when I got it. Um, it was 18 inches last year. I cut it back. It was actually about 7 feet tall. This one here has always done well. Always. Now look what it's got on it. It's got a couple of neighbors. That is a cicada, I guess it is. Letting you know it's near winter. 
This right here is a big old grasshopper that's eating my leaves. But I can't fight all of them. There's so many of them in the yard this year. Um, this tree got a little bit of browning going on. I'm not gonna worry about it. Cause all I got all this green. I know the tree's okay. But this tree is now, God, it's a, it's eight feet tall now. It's eight feet tall. I'm gonna leave it alone. It's just to stay eight feet tall. What I'm trying to figure out is why this tree is not bushing out like that one is. Fed the same food plant at the same time. Now over here I gotta go clean up. This is a peach tree. That is a what you see on the white pole, all that over there's gotta be cleaned up. That is a uh, grapevine. This over here is these are cherry trees. There's three of them there. You can't see them because all the weeds and everything. This is the fall stuff. That's uh, I forgot what these called um, mustard greens. Mustard greens in the midst of all these leaves, I mean weeds. Over there you got a bunch of, look at all these weeds. I didn't till this none this year, but I'm still growing things within the weeds. And over here, these are turnips. And I'm letting them grow within the weeds as well. This is a tomato plant. Don't think it's going to produce this year, but because we plant it really late, but that's okay. This right here is Swiss chard within those weeds. That's Swiss chard. Okay. Here is the best Swiss chard uh, picture. Right there, it's big. I gave him a little bit of miracle grow. A little bit of miracle grow. Look at that. It's going to come back next year if I let it. This is another little patch over here of Swiss chard, a smaller patch. This is the patch over here. Okay, time to cut the grass, later. I have to fix this right here. For some reason when you pull this back, it's stuck. It won't, uh, it won't do anything. When you pull it forward, you can't move it. Um, so I gotta get with this. Find out what's going on, it's a good mower, it's crafting. Also this right here is my crafting rider. And uh, it's got a lot of conveniences to it. It's really nice. It's got the wheels on it to roll, the gears. I don't know what that'll tow, but if anyone of y'all could help me out, it would be good. Crafting, let's see. 21, 21 horsepower, I think that's what it is. Yep. Richard Stratton, motor, lights, every, everything works on it. Oh, it's a little low on the gas. I think I'm going to gas it up before I use it. Got the gear on the top. Stern activates the cutter. Steering wheel, plastic. Never really liked that when I first got it. Needs to be washed, but uh, other than that, it will work. Everything works. So I use ear protection now instead of running it like I used to. Alright, that's the yard I gotta cut. All that back there. Not much for this tractor, it's nothing for this tractor. But let me get started for turns night later. Okay, well, next year I'm gonna try this again. These suckers grew about 12 of them out of, um, cost me a total of $2 and some change to cook. I mean, to grow. None of these were sweet, none of them. None of these boys were sweet at all. So what I'm going to do, I don't know what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to sell the seeds on eBay because um, the seeds are good. It's just something. Oh, 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 that's what I'm hearing. Don't over water melons. That stops them from getting sweet. If you water them every three weeks, but don't, and, and in between lightly, if it's real hot and you got a drought situation going on. But do not keep watering them every three days like I was doing, because they will not be sweet. All right, later. Look at this, out of one 40 pound bag, all these uh, pumpkin, one pumpkin plant, I think it is. Maybe two, well, I think it's one. This right here in front, you see them right there, that's, uh, that's my pear. Pear tree, it's a dwarf. It's doing really well. I won't feed them no more this uh, fall. 
because they're eating really well. This right here, I made a mistake. This, I poured uh, some of my worm, um, my worm uh, liquid down here, tea, worm tea. I poured it uh, really concentrated, so I should have. They say I should have mixed it down. Here was a seed that was in one of the um, some of the compost I put down here. It was a seed from the uh, pumpkin I compost composted this year. Look at this right here. This is this is ridiculous. Look at that. It actually nets itself. I didn't know that. It nets itself with roots and grows into the ground wherever it runs. That's interesting. Didn't know it did that. All right, let me go to another shot. Wait a minute, let's get a shot of this bag here. There's a bag, it should be still growing off of, but I think it's growing off of uh, the ground beneath it, like it's sending out little roots. Some shots of the fall garden. These right here are turnips. Didn't grow that many of them, but it still was fun. Okay, so I did that, and all through here, see all the weeds here? That's how you grow stuff, you know? Now these right here, these are mustard greens. Mustard green. Small amount there, some up here. So go them all in the weeds because it's just a good deal. Alright, let's go over in here and see what we got. Nothing but weeds. Tomatoes, baby tomatoes, what we call Forgot what they call these. There's a whole bunch of them right there. 